So we're going to chop these into just little chunks. cubes, Delicious. little chunks, okay. yeah, about a centimetre. Okay. You want them even so they're going to cook out even. Okay. <laughs> they take their really high in calcium, actually. Really? Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to get these into our pot. Great. A stick of cinnamon. Brilliant. Just pop it in there. It'll bring the flavours out. You can use Absolutely. ground cinnamon as well if you want. Just sprinkle mm -hmm. it in. Great. Uh, I'm going to squeeze of lemon juice in here. And things like the lemon and the cinnamon, I think, add great flavour, so it reduces the need for a lot of sugar or honey. Well, you today know. we're going to use a little bit of honey as opposed great. to sugar. Great. Okay, brilliant. So we got a spoon of honey in there. I'm and it's great to kind of get that natural sugar, but also the immune benefits you get from honey as well. So, you know. Again, yeah. And a nice little medium heat there on that. Okay. Drop of water. Little drop in there like that. Okay. And just let it simmer away gently for about five, ten minutes. Okay, great. Keep it, tr keep, throw your eye on it because it'll break down fairly quickly. Okay. So, Aoife, we're going to make a crumble to top our fruit with. Lovely. Sounds yeah? good to me, yeah. Very simple crumble. Yep. I'm going to pop the oatmeal in here. It's about 100 grams of oatmeal. Okay. I've got about 60 grams of brown sugar. Okay, great. The plain yep. flour. We're going to mix this together. Yep. And adding the oats adds great fiber and you know yeah. makes it a great but you could could you use wholemeal flour as well if you want you to, can use wholemeal flour yeah. indeed you can and you can use a gluten-free flour if you want if someone had celiac yeah. disease it'd be and great. it's a perfect yeah. one for that 60 grams of butter here and i'm going to keep a little bit of this back i dice them up just cut them into little cubes yep and it's at room temperature okay this i'm going to keep back to to line our little pots okay, great. so yeah. right now this you need to just crumble yep. together so that's a nice little texture yeah. in there and again because you've got to crumble it right on top you don't want to pack it in you want no. to crumble it nice light on nice. top and they got the sugar incorporated into that so I'm happy with that we just want to get a little bit of butter around yep. our pots I want to just scoop in I love seeing things like rhubarb crumble jam-packed with rhubarb so the crumble just goes on like so nice and gentle I don't want to pack Great. it down no. now that's enough that's enough but a <laughs> little bit more for me. You know, you don't need, you just want to cover it to yeah. stop it and it'll absorb into the, into your fruit anyway. Pop them in the oven for about 20 minutes at 200 degrees. Okay, great. So we're going to put a little bit of custard on this as well. Great, sounds okay. good. Yeah, and it's a great combination for anyone who's brittle bones or at risk of osteoporosis, all this calcium is just a so really good to you, yeah. great. Almost Excellent. Medicine.